It's a very gloomy and depressing day in Los Angeles. This weather's been very unfortunate because usually by the time May rolls around, it's nice and warm and sunny. And it's kind of crazy because the weather has a huge impact on your mood. It certainly has a big impact on my mood. And for some reason, when it's cloudy, I just... I just want to be in bed. I don't want to go out. I don't want to do anything. I certainly don't want to go to work. Um, but anyway, it's Monday. It's a brand new week. And of course, oh, oh, there we go. All right. There's lots of new, there are lots of new stories that um, we're going to be reporting on. What's up, Jonathan? Good afternoon. Anyway, uh, so it's weird because every once in a while I've noticed that there are certain themes um, in the news. And the theme in today's news definitely has to do with the way women are treated, um, and there's that whole theme of sexism, to be honest with you. Many of you have probably already read the New York Times article about Donald Trump and some of the terrible things that he has either said or done to women throughout his lifetime. And, you know, he was known as this playboy, and he was very entitled with women. Um, he said some pretty degrading things to women that Cenk is obviously going to cover probably in today's first hour. But Aside from that, there was another story that really caught my attention that I wanted to talk to you guys about now before we discuss it in the second hour. It has to do with a local meteorologist or weather reporter here in Los Angeles who works for KTLA. Um, her name escapes me at the moment. I don't really watch local news. But she was doing the weather report normal forecast, nothing special. And I don't know how it is where you guys live, but I know that in LA especially, a lot of the weather reporters dress, um, you know, a little more revealing than you would expect, but I've never really cared about that because who cares? They're weather reporters. Even if they weren't, I mean, you guys have seen me wear sleeveless dresses and stuff on the show quite a bit. And it's just a way that I express myself. No one's ever told me how to dress or what to do. But anyway, um, this weather reporter was wearing um, this like sequin uh, sleeveless black dress. And the cocktail dress wasn't even really that revealing. You don't see any cleavage. It wasn't really short. Um, it didn't really stand out to me as something that was inappropriate or, you know, something that you shouldn't wear when you're on camera. Anyway, as she's in the middle of her forecast, one of her colleagues shows up on screen and tries to hand her this gray sweater. And she's like, what's going on? What is this about? And uh, the male colleague basically tells her, oh, uh, the viewers are emailing in. They don't like what you're wearing. And so he like totally humiliates her while she's on camera gives her the sweater, and it was incredible because she was such a good sport about it. I mean, she put the sweater on, she's like, oh, I kind of look like a librarian now. She just kind of made a joke about it, and then she moved on. And, okay, Jenk sent me that story, and when I first read the headline, I'm like, this sounds like a really dumb story. I don't really want to talk about it. But then I watched the video, and honestly, I was flabbergasted, not only because of what audience members allegedly emailed to the station, but the fact that colleagues felt the need to humiliate her like that on camera and just call her out about her outfit. So I feel like if the, the viewers were emailing about her outfit and they didn't like what she was wearing because they felt like she was too scantily clad, there's a professional way of handling that where maybe you pull her aside and say, hey, um, here's the response that we're getting from the audience members. They're uncomfortable with the way that you've dressed um, on the show. And so just keep that in mind for the future. I mean, I got to be honest with you. If I were in her position and Jenk said that to me, I basically tell Jenk to tell the audience to fuck off. Sorry, I love you guys, but you'll never be able to tell me what to wear or how to look on camera. I do me, you do you, okay? I'm an adult. No one tells me how to dress. I know how to dress professionally. I don't think that I ever dress inappropriately on camera. And if anyone had the fucking audacity to tell me what I can and can't wear or to even fucking try to embarrass me on camera, I would lose my shit. So if I were in her position, I feel like I would be like, oh, really? Fuck you, audience members, and fuck you too. I'm quitting. I would literally quit on the spot because it was so humiliating and degrading, and I honestly could not believe it. Now, look, don't get me wrong. I mean, I could totally understand if she was dressed in pasties or something, and all you can really focus on is the fact that, hey, you know, she's pulling a little Kim circa early 2000s, but that's not what she did. And I think that 
there needs to be a little discretion in the way that management handles situations like that. And there was absolutely no discretion there whatsoever. It was so inappropriate how they handled that. And look, I get it. I understand that as a, a woman who is in the media, there is a certain element um, of sexism that you have to deal with. And a lot of people want to deny it, but it's true. So for instance, there's a lot of emphasis on the way a woman looks, right? And I remember when I was in journalism school, one of the key things that female students were taught is that you don't want to wear anything that might be deemed too distracting because female anchors distract people easier simply because they're women. And that kind of frustrated me. And I did take that to heart and I, you know, took it into consideration when I first started working at TYT. And when I first started, I was 20 years old, you know, and my style has evolved since then. And maybe I was dressed a little more, um, I'm not going to say scantily clad. I don't think I really dress scantily clad, right? I actually go out of my way to make sure that there's no cleavage because I don't want the majority of the comments to be about my boobs. But um, then I realized, okay, even though I'm showing a little bit of skin, it's not that big of a deal. Audience members aren't really paying attention to what I say. So I'm going to switch things up and I'm going to start dressing like a grandma. Okay, so at like 21, 22, I would wear like freaking turtlenecks on the show. I would wear sweaters all the time. I remember there was even a period of time where I would wear pea coats on camera because I was so obsessed with making sure that people acknowledged some of the points that I was making and some of the topics that I was passionate about. And then finally, believe it or not, it, it wasn't until I was 27 that I realized that I was tired of it, right? I realized, hey, you know what? I'm not going to look the way I look forever. I like to dress a certain way. It makes me feel confident. It makes me feel good about myself. And I'm not going to let anyone's comments dictate the way I live my life or the way that I dress. I believe I'm a professional. I believe I do a good job. And I believe that that's all that matters. And I remember Jenk, um Jake has never told me what I can and can't wear, ever, ever, right? But I do remember having a conversation with him and JR, and they're like, look, Anna, the people who don't want to listen to anything you have to say are never going to listen to what you have to say, right? You have to ignore them, and you got to focus on the audience members that do care about the stories you present and the passion that you have about certain topics. And I was like, you know what? They're making a really good point. And something also happened to me when I was 27 where – I had a certain amount of confidence just like infused in my body. Like I just felt really good. I felt confident. I felt like I had a lot of self self esteem and I didn't let the negative comments get to me. So I started dressing the way that I really wanted to dress. And it, again, I don't think it was scantily clad, but it was a little more, I guess, revealing, you know, and I don't know. I didn't really get a negative reaction from the audience, which I really appreciate, but I just want to emphasize that, one of the most difficult things for a woman in the media, on camera, is getting criticism about the way she looks, about the way she's dressed, you know, making her feel like she's some sort of slut or a hussy. <laughs> Who uses the word hussy, by the way? Um, is terrible. And, it, you know, I think the way that that weather reporter handled it was so impressive because someone as temperamental as me wouldn't be able to pull that off. But I also don't want her to think that she did anything wrong. There was nothing wrong with her dress. Um, I don't know about sequins. It's not really my style. But, hey, she likes it. She feels good. She should wear it. But another thing to keep in mind is usually television channels and stations have people who dress the on-air talent, right? I, I do talent like that because I think it's cheesy when on-air people are referred to as talent. But anyway, so, I mean... I don't know if, if what she was wearing was so inappropriate, maybe talk to the stylist that works for the station. Either way, I think that it's important for her to be comfortable when she's on camera, and I think it's important for people to really focus on what hosts, anchors, reporters have to say. Now, in her case, she's not even reporting on anything that important. She's talking about the weather, which, by the way, not to add insult to injury to this woman, because I really don't mean to do that, but what is the point of having like weather reporters these days? Like we have the internet. All you got to do is talk to Siri and be like, yo Siri, what's the forecast for the week? And she'll pull it up for you immediately. But whatever, local stations do all sorts of crazy things. So if she's reporting the weather and she wants to wear a glittery sequiny dress, 
do you? And certainly do not put up with your colleagues putting you down and humiliating you like that on camera. Anyway, we will talk about this on the show today. Um, I'm actually really curious to see what Jake has to say about it, okay? So I, for some reason, I have like a gut feeling that he might disagree with me. But anyway, um, make sure you check it out. I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Love you.